Hi friends, today I am starting a new lesson in your syllabus that is study of circles. Now this is something which you already know what a circle is and what are its properties. We are going to further increase our knowledge in this. Now a circle can be defined as a set of points which are equidistant from a, a fixed point which is called its center and the fixed uh, distance is known as its radius or it is it can also be defined as the locus of a point which moves from, uh, such that its distance from a fixed point is always constant and that constant distance is called the radius and the uh, point is called as the center of the circle. Now let us say we have a circle like this, a circle with center O and I have a line like this, a straight line. Now these two have nothing in common. They are, this is a circle and this is a straight line. They are, they are not in contact with each other. So there is nothing common between them. Now I draw one more, this thing, one more uh, straight line, which is cutting this circle at two points. Now if I call this as PQ, it is cutting the circle at points E and B. Now this PQ is called a secant and this portion of the secant AB is called as the card, which you already know. Now. If I draw a line like this, a line PQ like this, here, this is this line PQ is touching the circle at one point or if there is one point of contact between PQ, the line PQ and the circle. Now this line which is having a single point contact is known as the tangent to the circle and this point of contact I will call as A. So the point of contact is A. Now they say PQ is a tangent at A to the circle. Now at any point on the circumference of a circle, we can draw only one tangent. At any point, at any given point, we, it is possible to draw only one tangent and we cannot draw more than one tangent at any given point on the circumference of the circle. So these are some things which we have to know. Then, then <coughs> we also should know that, that if we have a, if we have a tangent like this, now this point, if I join OA, now this OA is called the radius of the circle at A, at the point A. Now, we, this, the two straight lines, that is OA and PQ, are at right angles to each other. This is a right angle. That is, these angles are 90 degree. Now, this can be proved this way. Say, you take any point here. In any number of points here. Now from O to this point, o, if you join like this, these points, you will find as you are nearing to A, as we are coming closer to A, what is happening is this distance is going on decreasing. It is going on decreasing. As I move from uh, towards A from this point, the distance of the from the center to this point is going on in, in uh, decreasing and it becomes minimum here. Again, if you move away from that point A, again it, it, the distance is going to increase as we move away and away. It is going to increase. So, this OA is the shortest distance between the line PQ and the center of the circle. This is the shortest distance. So, it is OA is OA is perpendicular to perpendicular to PQ or the tangent at drawn at A. So whenever we draw a tangent to a circle, 
the and if we join the point of contact of the tangent to the center then that line joining the center uh, center to the uh, point of contact and the tangent will be at right angles to each other or they will be mutually perpendicular to each other now this oa is also called as oa is also called as the normal to the circle is also called as the normal to the circle normal to the circle at a at a so this is one property of the tangents one property of the tangent is that a tangent is always perpendicular to the radius drawn from the point of or at the point of contact with the circle so this you must remember now <coughs> the second thing which we are required to know here is if we have a circle let us say we have a circle we have a circle here i have a circle with center o now i have a point p here which is called an external point which is called an external point now from this point from this external point i can draw only two tangents to this circle i can draw only two tangents to this circle from any external point we can draw only two tangents to a circle we can draw only two tangents to the circle we cannot draw more than two tangents and and we are normally asked generally if you go through the old question papers they will ask us to prove that the two tangents drawn to a circle from an external point are equal that is if pa and pb are two tangents drawn to a, a circle from the an external point they are equal you they will say you prove this geometrically geometrically we we have to prove this to prove this what we do is we have to draw we have to join oa ob and po and po now if i do that if i join these lines oa ob and these are the construction this is to prove we have to prove that uh, the given is o is a uh, the uh, it is a circle we have a circle with center o p is an external point and from that point we have drawn two tangents p and pb then to prove you have to prove that pa is equal to pb or the tangents are equal and the construction which we have to do construction is join oa ob and op oa ob and op now here uh, we get two triangles apb and uh, sorry a apo and pob there are two triangles here ob oap and obp like that also you can call now in these two triangles what happens is this is 90 degree because this is a tangent at b and ob is a radius at the point of contact similarly this is also 90 degree so oap and obp are two right angle triangles they are two right angle triangles now in this triangles in proof the proof will be like this in triangles o a p and o b p in triangles o a b o a p and o b p we have a uh, angle o a p angle o a p is equal to angle o b p that is they are 90 degrees and and oa is equal to ob 
radii of same circle they are radii of same circle therefore they are equal right then then op is equal to op that is it is a common side common side to both the triangles so therefore therefore angle triangle oap is is congruent to triangle obp obp so they are congruent actually these two triangles are congruent triangles because all three sides are equal here this side is equal to this side this side is equal to this side this is a common side and this angle is equal to this angle this angle is equal to this angle this angle is equal to this angle they are all equal you can also say uh, therefore they are uh, congruent triangles and uh, therefore ap is equal to bp or pb ap is equal to pb that is the two tangents are equal angle angle bpo bpo is equal to angle apo and angle bop angle bop is equal to angle aop that is you can say the, this is tangents are equal tangents are equal they are the tangents are tangents are equally inclined equally inclined to equally inclined to the straight line the straight line joining the points the joining the center and the external point that is op in this case external point external point is p and the tangents tangents subtend 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 s u b t e n d subtend equal angles at the center equal angles at the center right now this is how, this is all this can be proved if you show that triangle oap is congruent to triangle bop so this is it now now this can be also proved in another way in another way by using the pythagoras theorem we can prove that alternately alternately we can prove that ap is equal to pb or pa is equal to pb we can prove alternately like this in triangle in triangle aop aop this is a right angle triangle so ap square ap square that is side square ap square is one of the side ap square is equal to op square which is the hypotenuse op is the hypotenuse this is right angle so this is the hypotenuse so op square minus the square on the other side that is oa square similarly in triangle bop in triangle bop bp square bp square is equal to again op square this is the hypotenuse again this is the right angle this is hypotenuse minus ob square or it can be written as op square minus oa square also because because oa and ob are equal as they are radii of same circle they are equal therefore therefore we have ap square 
is equal to BP square or AP is equal to BP which is what we have to prove that is the two tangents drawn to a circle from an external point are equal in length. Then this way also we can, it can be proved. So this proof is generally asked, generally they ask this proof, I have seen for 3 to 4 marks, always they will ask, prove that the tangents drawn to a circle from an external point are equal. You must know that only two tangents can be drawn to a circle from an external point and those two tangents are equal in length and they are inclined at the same at same angle that is this angle and this angle are equal because uh, to the line joining the center of the circle to the external point they are equally inclined to that line and they subtend equal angles at the center of the circle so these three points you must remember okay this is one thing that you have to know note next after this we have to know that say <coughs> we have two circles of different radii but same center if you have two circles with same center but different radii now these circles are called the concentric circles the concentric circles now if I draw a tangent to this circle to the inner circle to a tangent like this let us say this is a tangent I will call that as AB it cuts the outer circle at A and B now if I draw a perpendicular here this radius if I draw now if I call this as uh, P now this is perpendicular to the this is the radius this is perpendicular and this P will be the midpoint of AB that is the, a, the called AB of this external circle the outer circle is uh, bisected at P now that can be proved again by like this there are two circles the concentric circles from uh, center with center O as shown in figure now here again you get two triangles in these two triangles OB, OAP and OBP in triangles OAP and OBP OBP we have what OP is common to both common to both the circles right then because uh, OP is common OA is equal to OB radii radii of same circle and and angle OAP is equal to angle OB o, OAP I'm sorry angle OPA angle OPA or OPA is equal to angle OPB is equal to 90 degree because it's a and this is a tangent to this circle and OP is the radius so they are at right angles to each other therefore therefore triangle OAP is again congruent to triangle triangle OAP is congruent to triangle OBP so therefore AP will be equal to PB and again this angle will be equal to this angle this angle will be equal to this angle that will be as, as usual as in the previous case so this theorem also we should know now using these theorems this they can ask us to prove this and also they can give some problems based on these theorems let us take a few problems and do it
try to solve them. Okay. Let us do a few problems on what we have learned now. Uh, one of the problem I am taking from the uh, question paper, previous question paper of SSLC. Uh, in the following figure, PA, PC and CD are tangents drawn to a circle. PA, PC and CD are tangents drawn to a circle of center O. If AP is equal to 3 centimeter, 3 centimeter, CD is equal to, CD is equal to 5 centimeter, find, <coughs> find, find the length of PC. What is the length of PC? Now the figure is like this. This is a circle with center O. With center O. Uh, we have a tangent like this. We have a tangent like this. Here we have a tangent like this. We have a tangent like this. Tangent like this. Now this point is C. C. This is D. This is B. This is P. And this is A. So AP is 3 centimeters. CD is 5 centimeters. Now he is asking what is PC? What is the length of PC? Now CD and CB are tangents drawn from C to the same circle. So if this is 5 cm, this will also be 5 cm. If this is 3 cm, this will be also 3 cm. So PC will be equal to PC will be equal to PB plus BC. PB plus BC. That is PB is 3 cm because this is P is an external point, two tangents, P and PB are two tangents. So PB is same as PA plus BC is 5. So PC is 8 centimeters. This is a problem for one mark. One mark problem in your question paper, old question paper. Next, from the same paper, I am taking one more problem. Uh, in this problem, he says, this is 3 marks problem, he says, two concentric circles of radius, radii, 5 cm and 3 cm are drawn. Find the length of the chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle. So there are two concentric circles. I told you concentric circles means circles with same radi same center but different radii. Now this is the smaller circle, this is the lot bigger circle. Here we have drawn a tangent here, a tangent to this circle. It becomes a chord. The tangent to the smaller circle becomes a chord to the larger circle. Now the radius of this smaller circle is 3 cm. The radius of the larger circle is uh, 5 cm. The radius is 5 cm. Find the length of the chord. Now I will call this as O, this is A, this is B and this is P. Now what he wants is, he wants the length of AB. He wants the length of AB. Now, in triangle OAP, in triangle OAP, OAP, we have AP square, AP square, that is this side square, is equal to hypotenuse square, that is OA square minus the other side, OP square, OP square. So AP square will be equal to 5 square minus 3 square. So AP will be equal to 25 minus 9 uh, square root of this. That is square root of 16. So that will be 4 centimeter. 
So this is 4 cm. If AP is 4 cm, BP is also 4 cm. BP is same as AP. So that is also 4 cm. So AB will be equal to AP plus PB or BP that is 4 plus 4 that is 8 cm. This will give you 3 marks. So totally you will get 4 5 marks in this and there will be some theorems also to be proved. So you will get about 8 marks, 7 8 marks you will get from this. Constructions will be there, all that will be there. Next, I will take a problem from one more question paper. In the given figure, PQ and RS are two parallel tangents drawn to a circle with center O. Here, we have a circle with center O. Uh, here, we have a two parallel tangents. One is PQ, PQ, which touches this circle at X, the point of contact is X. There is one more tangent here at the end of this diameter. So this is RS. These two tangents are parallel to each other. This is touching the circle at Y. Now, uh, circle with center O, another tangent. AB, another tangent AB is drawn here. AB is one more tangent. A is on PQ and B is on RS. It is another tangent drawn uh, with the point of contact C. This is C. All right. Now, now what he has done is at B. Right, B. Now what he has done is he has joined OA and OB are joined. OB and OA and OB are joined. And he says prove that this angle, angle AOB, prove that angle AOB is 90 degrees. It is 90 degree. You have to prove. You have to show that this angle is 90 degree. Now, what we have to do is we have to do it like this. Now, a x, a x. Ah, sorry. Before that, you do one thing. Uh, a b y x. A b y x is a quadrilateral right it's a quadrilateral a b y x is a quadrilateral now in this quadrilateral a x y a x y a x y is 90 degree because a x is a tangent and o a or x y is diameter so this is 90 degree and uh, similarly BYX, BYX is also a 90 degree, is also 90 degree. That is this angle is also 90 degree because this is a tangent and that is the radius or diameter of the circle. So they are 90 degree. Therefore what happens is XAC or XAB angle XAB that is this whole angle this whole angle XAB plus YBA or ABY plus ABY must be equal to 180 degree because these two are equal to this is 90 this is 90 so they are 180 the four interior angles of a quadrilateral must be 360 degree. So if these two together are 180 degree, then these two, this angle and this angle must be equal to 90 degree. So they, they must be equal to 180 degree. Totally it will be 360 degree. Now, AX and AC, 
ये एक्स एंड ए सी और टेंजेंट्स ड्रॉन फ्रॉम ए ड्रॉन फ्रॉम ए इन एक्सटर्नल पॉइंट ए एंड ओ ए इज ए लाइन ज्वाइनिंग दीज टू सो दीज टू एंगल्स मस्ट बी इक्वल देर फोर देर फोर एक्स ए ओ एक्स ए ओ मस्ट बी इक्वल टू ए ओ बी मस्ट बी एक्स ए ओ मस्ट बी इक्वल टू ओ ए बी ओ ए बी दैट मस्ट बी इक्वल सिमिलरली सिमिलरली वी हैव हियर बी वाई एंड बी सी बी वाई एंड बी सी और टेंजेंट्स drawn from b they will be equal and this angle will be equal to this angle because they will be inclined the two will be inclined at the same angle therefore angle obby angle obby plus uh, will be equal to angle obby Will be equal to angle uh, OBC OBA OBA. They will be equal OBA. Therefore, therefore, and this will be equal to one eighty degree. Therefore, what happens is angle OBA, angle OBA plus. Angle OAB, angle OAB must be equal to ninety degree. They must be equal to ninety degree. Now AOB is a triangle. Therefore, therefore, triangle AOB, uh, angle AOB uh, must be equal to one eighty degree minus the sum of OBA angle OBA plus angle OAB OAB because they are angles of angles of triangle AOB so therefore angle AOB will be equal to 180 minus 90 that is equal to 90 degree angle AOB is equal to 90 degree. We have proved that angle AOB is equal to 90 degree. Now like that, we have to do the problems. Clear? 